So we're here on Omaha Beach in Normandy. And you can really get a sense of how broad the beach is and why they chose this beach to be a, a landing site. Um, very broad um, and uh, very, you know, quite long. And so that, that promontory point um, that we're moving towards right now um, was one of the places that there was a lot of gun emplacements and, and, and that um, this uh, and that defines one section of this embayment and then Utah Beach is on the other side of that promontory but um, uh, you can see there's a lot of uh, not only advantageous um, features to land but also you can see why um, how e why it was fairly easy to defend because of these these coastal bluffs here not only not only the cliffs um, you know farther along but these these um, dunes and coastal bluffs behind made uh, areas that were relatively easy to get high vantage points from so this important uh, sandy beach uh, played a pretty pivotal role in, in uh, modern history and understanding how the beach worked so guys came ashore before the invasion under you know, cover of darkness and, and at night to take sand samples so they can measure the compaction of the sand so they knew how much weight um, could be taken and, and all the understanding of the beach geomorphology was really, really fundamental to the planning and ultimately to the success of the D-Day invasions here in Normandy. Um, not only in, in this beach, and but all, all five of the beaches were the where 150,000 allies landed to sort of start to turn the tur to turn the tide of the war against uh, the Nazis and all their evil.